Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I've got something special for everybody. I'm joined here with Chris from Emma Crypto. Chris, how are you doing today, my man? <laughs> In the pipe, five by five. That's my life. I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm very happy to be here on your channel and um, talk about interesting stuff today. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? We're just going to be chatting, right? No TA today, but uh, talking about the news and stuff like that. Talking about, obviously, Bitcoin pumping up. What? Wow. What, what's wrong with Bitcoin? Why does it keep going up? <laughs> Nothing is wrong. <laughs> you think hey, that's all? Everything's just fine and dandy. As long as it keeps going up, everything's fine, right? Yeah, exactly. Everything goes in a straight line up forever. No, of course not. But I think this is also what we are going to talk about today, right? Exactly, exactly. We're just going to be just general talking about what's going on in the news and uh, and all that good stuff. First, let's start off with what the real obvious reason why Bitcoin is going up. And I think it's, uh, I don't know, the, the five trillion in new borrowing expected in the, the fourth quarter. Uh... What do you think about that? Like five trillion dollars worldwide is being borrowed, which is me doesn't mean borrowed. I mean that that hey, you know you've got some money over there. Can I borrow that and and I'll give it back to you? No 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 no. What does it really mean, Chris? <laughs> well, when when the when the big what what do you usually say when someone owes a, um, a bank a million dollars and he cannot pay back. The debtor has the problem, but when someone owes a bank a billion dollars, for example, the bank has a problem. And I think this is the case here. Everyone who is borrowing it, whether it's a big corporations or whatever, too big to fail, fail banks, then um, I think these, these these banks they are too big to fail, and they will not pay pay it back. And the only um, the only way out of this massive spiral is, of course, just printing more and more. So I think these five trillion they will easily translate in a much higher number in the future. Exactly, exactly. And actually, whenever you see the word borrowing and a large number, that means just printing directly. That's what it is. It is not actually borrowed from you and me uh, in the cash that we have in the bank. It's actually created out of nothing. And yep. that's why we're going to see massive inflation coming in to the Bitcoin. I think that's what we're seeing right now, because I didn't expect Bitcoin to go to all time highs or close to it right now. I mean, we're almost there, right? Um, we're just like a hop, skip and a jump away. I've got an alert set to when we hit 19,666. I can't believe that was the high. Was that the, really the high? I think it was, depends on the exchange, right? <laughs> I, I think on Bitstamp it was 19,700. It was different on every exchange. Yeah, yeah but, but in Bitstamp it happens to be 19,666. How oh, really? Evil. <laughs> How evil. <laughs> wow. I know, exactly. Wow. I know. I, I just noticed that. And I'm like, I'm noticing that just now. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, it's like this happens this, this number we see it a lot so we always know whoever was involved in this specific blow off top was not a nice person exactly <laughs> but you know it's a lot of skill to get that get that price it had to hit that price and then back off so you must have a lot of bitcoin to be selling it to make sure that nobody to, so that they, they actually back it off from that price so it's quite interesting all right um what do you think, man? PayPal, right? They uh, they announced uh, that now you can actually buy uh, crypto, that like Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, and B Bcash, all on the PayPal network. And I tested it. I went on to the, I have a PayPal account, a US PayPal account. I went on and I was like, I saw it. I was like, oh my God, it was mind blowing. Man, how, how did you feel? How do you feel about that, man? I think it's amazing. I mean, in the end of the day, we won't, don't want to be dependent on institutions or big corporations. But if this means that finally the auntie or the grandma can finally also get a hold of some some Bitcoin, at least get the step in the in the door, then I, I'm in, man. I think it was great news. I made an emergency live episode when it happens. I'm very happy about that. And um, I mean, the next step for PayPal should be hopefully that they enable withdrawals. That would be then a full service because only when you can withdraw your Bitcoin in the end, it's you can you can call it real Bitcoin. Otherwise, it's just some kind of IOU. But uh, MOU, 
but it's nice. It's nice. I, I'm happy about the news and um, I'm pumped about it as well. I would love to see it in my own PayPal account, but I don't have a US PayPal account. So I can I can understand your excitement. And you can see in the markets after this was announced, Bitcoin pumped from 12,000 to 19,000. So it was not the only reason, but it was one of the main reasons. Correct, man. Excellent. Mm. I mean, oh my gosh. Well, you know what? The only well, thing they're missing at their, at the, what was that? I just wanted to add one thing. I think PayPal has like 350 million accounts or so. I mean, all of these are now potential buyers for Bitcoin, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, this is great news. 350 million people potentially now also being able to join the space. This is more people than we have in the whole crypto space right now, right? Exactly. I mean, it's incredible, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, just think about that for a second. Yeah, I never thought about that for a second. We... And think about think about that we have like also thirty million merchants or so uh, having PayPal in their in their payment uh, options. <laughs> I mean, this is what it's about, right? We exactly. want merchants. Exactly. Uh, the only thing that they're missing is my DJ fifteen token, right? <laughs> so <laughs> they're missing that, right? They missed it. <laughs> so that's. Uh, if you're interested in figuring out, finding out how to buy that, it's a link in the description below. And you can join the live streams, right, uh, that I do every single day. All right. Um, one more news article I want to talk about, right, is this bad news article for the week on crypto, right? I'm like, bad news, right? Blockchain is good for hodling, but not for voting. Bad crypto news for the week. Really? Uh, uh, let me let me let me tell you what I think about this, and then you, then I want to hear what you have to to say about it, right? First off, right? Yes, you can use you can use blockchain or Bitcoin or any kind of cryptocurrency for voting. However, with not enough people actually using cryptocurrencies, it cannot be used for voting. It'd be like, oh, uh, you invented the car, and you want to be able to drive across the United States, but there's not enough gas stations. So it's useless, the car. It's never going to be, it's never going to work. That's horrible. Or, for example, uh, you, you, we invented light, electricity. We lit up the, the Eiffel Tower. Oh my God, what's the use of light bulbs, right? Not as everybody has light bulbs in their house, so that means electricity is absolutely useless. <laughs> like, get real, right? That's not, that's not, that's you need to wait until you know there's mass adoption right before we can actually use it what do you think about that chris I personally think that, uh, I mean, they are talking not about the Bitcoin blockchain, blockchain in general, I think. I think the blockchain voting is a perfect use case for blockchain. Also gambling or poker, like all of these things where you have um, the an issue of trust, it's a perfect use case um, for a blockchain. So I, I only by reading the headline, I didn't read the article, I have to strongly disagree. Um, maybe he has some good reasons behind it, but so far I cannot think about anything. Voting is one of my top three use case, top five use cases for for a blockchain. Number one is money. Number two, maybe voting even or, or gambling, and then then voting. So it's beautiful. Smart contract is number two, but yeah, the, yeah of course. the reason why, of course, is because not everybody can actually have have the keys, right? That's the logic behind it, and I'm like, yeah, that's you have to wait until. I mean, to say to say that well, light bulbs are useless because nobody has them. Electricity is just a silly statement, right? Wait until yeah. everybody does have electricity, then the light bulbs become useful, right? Wait until everybody has the Bitcoin keys, then voting becomes useful, or some sort of keys, right? Key mechanism. And that's all it is, right? Just wait until you have people have the keys and. And you know, Bitcoin is more useful for a lot more things than that, right? Yeah. It's just, it's these are all the opcodes, right? You could program in a lot of things into Bitcoin. So if you're not familiar with that, here are a bunch of opcodes that developers can use to make if statements. So for example, hey, you know what? Until you get to 21 years old, you can't spend this. Or unless, if you, you could only spend a little bit every month, or you could only spend it on specific items. You could do all kinds of programmable things here inside the Bitcoin uh, uh, Bitcoin architecture, but only when, only when they could. The most of this are useless. 
until Bitcoin is fully money. Uh, are you aware of that, Chris? Yeah, I'm aware of that. And I, I strongly agree. The, the light bulb, bulb is a very, very good example for that. But um, it's, it's always the same for people in the outside. They have a hard time seeing the true value. Many people are... Uh, criticizing the volatility, for example, but everything was volatile. The Amazon stock was vo volatile as well when it was still small. I mean, it's the law of mathematics for something small to be big. It has to be volatile because it cannot simply jump there. So um, the volatility is not a reason against Bitcoin. It's just the proof for it still being small um, before it is eventually going to be big, just as with the with the light bulbs or with the with the with the voting. I mean, we are early. Bitcoin is still volatile because Bitcoin is small. Not everyone is involved in Bitcoin because we are in the early stages of Bitcoin. So I, I really think that um, your argument was very good and um, that that these people will, will wonder in five or six years um, what is actually possible and where Bitcoin is actually valued at. All right, Ari. Right. Well, thank you very much for coming on today's show. I have one more question for you, right? Uh, I know this is just, you know, fun prediction time having fun don't have to be actually accurate just we're just having fun don't try to don't please don't take what this this next question don't take it as word from god because we're both not gods here we're just you know pontificating what the price is going to be and i would like to know chris what is your predicted price for the end for jan for december 31st the night when it closes on december 31st what is the bitcoin price you think will be well yeah, just for fun. Just just for fun. Oh. <laughs> this year. Yeah, this year, yeah. I would love more to make a prediction for next year, but this year I mean I have to be a moon boy here, right? I mean I am a, I am expecting a, a blow off top and a retracement anytime soon, but we still have five weeks to go so we can have a retracement and then still a pump. Um, so my bearish scenario is eighteen thousand, my bullish scenario is twenty four thousand. Ooh, wow, wow. So you're thinking 24,000 or 18,000 for December 31st. I'm going to give uh, you get two numbers. That's not fair, right? So choose one. <laughs> I, I would take the arithmetic mean between that. That would be 21, but I, I don't think it's going to be 21. Okay. It's be, going to be 18 or 24. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to say uh, that it's going to be uh, probably uh, 16,000. 16,000 in the close. So that's where, where it's going to be. Um, probably because we're, we're kind of recovering from a massive dump um, into into the it's a, it's a Christmas time because because Tax. Biden Biden is president. Yeah. Because of taxes. Very good point. Yeah, so that's why I, I think that, that will cause a lot of people to realize, ooh, you know what? He's going to tax me on that. So maybe I should like take the profits right now. So that is my estimate, my guesstimate. It may be incorrect. I don't know. So just don't hold me to it. Then that's what I'm saying. All right. Thank you all for watching. And uh, we will see you guys in the next live stream. Cheers.